this is the reason we can't have nice things. Anyway, I'm over looking at all the different models that you can download for your local stable diffusion install. So we just put the 1.5 checkpoint in because it was released yesterday. And there's a lot of other ones you can grab. So what else is there? Well, there's a bunch of them that are anime oriented, a ton of that. Uh, and then there was this one that jumped out to me, it's Robo Diffusion. So I looked at it and it is a robot trained model. So someone has taken a bunch of robots and then trained the AI to draw pictures of robots. And I'm like, yes, this, this could be the start of something really fun. Uh, the link is in the description here, but basically you have to use the words, no user robot toward the beginning of the prompt. It's that simple. So let's do that. This operation is going to be the same for each and every model you ever download. You're going to basically put it into the appropriate models area. So if we go into models, we can see there's a lot of other models here, but we're looking for the one that's for stable diffusion. So we're going to go in here and this is where you're going to want to paste the model that you've downloaded. Okay. So to get started, we're basically just going to load that model in from the drop down at the top. You can select whatever one you would like. If you have an older stable diffusion 1.4 checkpoint and you have the brand new 1.5 that just came out yesterday, now you have the new robot one as well. So we have to use no user robot somewhere near the beginning of the uh, prompt as was indicated in the GitHub. Okay, we got the hard part done apparently. So now let's uh, play with, let's pick an artist. So uh, I'm a big fan of uh, Sub McKinnon. And uh, let's do Peter Morbacher, who again, I support on Patreon. So I'm a big fan of his stuff. And that's uh, that's pretty good. Let's just run with it and see what we get. I'm going to put this in Euler uh, at like maybe 30 steps, something like this, and see what kind of action we create here. That's pretty great. I'm very happy with that. Um, but can we can we make it weirder? Well, yeah, we can. It's Halloween, so uh, let's just put our icky hat on here. Uh, so let's throw the word Cthulhu in here, right? Uh, scary. Um, I also like a lot of... Uh, uh, tubes and hoses. So I think we use the word fluid to kind of convince us that that's going to happen. And that may or may not have the intended consequence, but uh, I found that I have a lot of luck with that word in general. So I'm just going to use that and see what we get. Well, that does qualify, doesn't it? At a scary, scary thing. Not quite robot -y though. So let's roll it again. Uh, again, local install is great this way. Yeah, look at that. That's, that's pretty satisfying. Not very robot-like, but Close enough. So maybe we get rid of this and just uh, do no user robot here. Okay. It's scary. It's a robot. Okay. We're winning. We're doing well. So let's up this a bit. Let's go with like a 4K. Uh, that'll add again a little bit more depth of field to this. Put volumetric in there so we get a little bit more uh, kind of a fogginess uh something. Okay. It's looking pretty good. Uh, but I always find, again, this is just me, I think they always look better when they're a little bit taller or a little bit wider. Um, so I like the portrait or landscape orientation. I'm not a big fan of the square. I just think you get more interesting stuff when you use those orientations. Okay, that's looking pretty good. I like it. Uh, let's add a highly detailed. Uh, again, we can, we can put these buys at the end to kind of keep ourselves organized. Um, I like the artist at the end things like this. Now, if we want to, we can make it so some of these words are more important. For example, the word fluid, um, I can put parentheses around it, uh, which is a way to say that I want it to be more important. However, there's a great little trick here. And that is, if you just simply highlight the word and use control up arrow, it will go ahead and add the appropriate nomenclature for the upscaling as well. And again, you can tap it repeatedly and it will keep taking it up. Or you can go the other direction with it as well. Go more tubes, more tubes for the win. Uh, let's uh, see what else we got there. A little xenomorph from the alien movie, and we'll throw that in here. And let's make that more important. See if we can kind of get something really, really fun. That's uh, that counts. Anyway, I saw this today, and I thought it was a really great model. Guy did a fantastic job putting this together, and I love seeing these. So the more as as this gets out there, more and people are starting to train their own models, we're going to see a lot more interesting ones. Anyway, I had to share that one with you. I just think this is fantastic. I got a bunch of great images out of this. I'll throw a few here at the end of the video so you can kind of see what I'm doing. Uh, thanks again for everyone who supports this channel. You guys are awesome. You're keeping it alive. And let me know what you think about this. Um, I will do other models as they come up and they're interesting to me. Uh, so we'll probably end up doing an anime one at some point because there are so many anime models. And some are pretty good and some are you know fine. And then some are more artistic and more sketch-like, which I actually enjoy. 
Uh, so we'll take a look at some of those in the future. But uh, for now, go make some scary robots and have a great Halloween. Take care. Stay safe. I'll catch you all next time.